everybody, it's me, I'm back, and I have kind of an interesting thing going on. Um, company called Apto Skin Care has apparently decided I need to show off some of their stuff. And I got this one loan package today, which I am very grateful for. And... I'm still a little confused because my channel is so small and and all of that and I'm still just there wasn't anything in the package that specifically said could you please look at this could you please review it anything like that but I pulled it out of the package it's a pomegranate spray that's supposed to help with taking care of sun damage and texture and that sort of thing. Now, I've had it out once already, and I've actually tried it on with a few spritzes a little earlier today, mainly because I wanted to see if, like, my skin blew up or something before I decided to bring it on here. What I'm going to do now is, since this is a skin treatment that's supposed to help with texture over time, is I'm going to, I'm kind of introducing it now, but I will be doing routine follow-ups with the rest of my um, videos, and I'll let you know how this stuff works. I got to tell you, it smells great. It really does. It smells wonderful. I really like the feel of it. It does stay a little bit tacky for a couple of minutes longer than I had thought it would. But I didn't have any skin irritation. I haven't had any problem with it. And I've had it on for hours now. So I was figuring if I was going to have an allergic reaction, it would have happened by now in some manner. However, you know, as you keep going, um, you've got time to let it sit and see if, if anything else crops up after you've used it for a while. I just basically sprayed it on my clean face. I haven't done anything much today except run one errand. So, you know, it's, it's, it's nifty. It really is. I'm still kind of in shock that that they that somebody sent me PR. So hey, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be reasonable and give it a try. See whether or not it really does what it says, and let you know. Now, just because they sent it to me free does not mean. I'm going to automatically jump up and down and tell you how wonderful it is. That's not how this works. Anyway, one of the other products I wanted to bring up, since I'm talking about stuff that I'm trying, is, and this one I bought myself, this, and I've showed it a couple of times in some of the other videos, and it's the Rimmel lash accelerator serum now they've got lash accelerator stuff in their mascaras and such too and i'll have to pull up some pictures because i didn't really plan to do this as a let's show you how it works but i've got some pictures from where i first started doing instagram that you can see in those pictures, I did not have eyebrows, okay? Did not have. Also, that my lashes were very, very short, kind of sparse, which is, I've always had very short lashes. They've never been really thick, and they're pale as heck, so they're hard to see. But now, after using lash serum, I've gotten, because I put it in the eyebrows too, I got started doing this 
because of this one, the Grand Lash, that came in a sample box. But I'm not paying 65 bucks for a serum now that this one is like been used up when I can pay seven bucks for this. Okay. Plus this one just has a little brush in it. This one, the applicator not only has a brush at the very tip, but up to about here, there's little ridges cut into the wand so you can actually comb through your eyebrows or you can comb your eyelashes if you really just must. The stuff is very comfortable to wear. It feels a little sticky, but you know, you're putting it on with your, with some of your other base stuff. So you don't really notice it that much when you're doing your skincare. This one, if you got it in your eye, or at least with me, when I, if I got it in my eye, got the serum in my eye, it burned. And I do mean burned. The Rimmel, if I accidentally get it in my eye, it doesn't really bother me. I know it's hard to see. It's a clear tube and it's got gold writing on it. Anyway, I put it on in the morning. I put it on in the evening and just go on about my business. It's completely clear and it's pretty thick. It doesn't like drip off. And it's like, you know, along the eyelash. Yes, you must make a funny face while doing this. And then I do this bit. And every so often now, I'm having to actually go in and pluck some of the little strays that come in under here. It's rather amusing to me to see that I've got eyelashes at this point because back when I really wanted them so I could be like all flirty and all that with the eyelashes, the long eyelash routine and all that stuff. Yeah, I had little flimsy, pitiful lashes. So, you know, not such a big deal. Now, when the only person I really need to flirt with is my husband, and he knows about my short lashes, <laughs> and they don't bother him, now all of a sudden I can grow lashes, which actually comes in handy doing the channel. It also is nice to actually have eyebrows because let me tell you, when I first started doing even a little bit on Instagram and that kind of thing, if I didn't draw on eyebrows, I didn't have any. It was just naked up here. It's like, no, I had like maybe three hairs right here and then the rest of it had to be drawn in, completely had to be drawn in because of the sparsity of the, the hair and the fact that I was born blonde and this never really caught up with the changes that my hair went through over time. Yeah, this is a dye job. Yeah, I went back to blonde because, hey, you know, the rest of my pale skin, it works. Blue eyes, pale skin, blonde hair. Wah! -ah. I'll probably still do some more of the crazy colors as we go along. But I wanted to get this kind of set up so that I don't forget to, one, thank... 
Apto Skin Care. And two, that I don't forget to update people because now that you know about it, you'll bug me if you want to and if I go too long. Anyway, like I said, it smells wonderful. It's got pomegranate juice in it, which is why it's so bright red. It's also got a bunch of other botanicals in here. And the claim is it will help with sun damage and will help with textured skin. Now we will see. I've got texture through here. And I've got texture through here. And I've got texture through here and through here. Now, at the age of 60, when I was a little kid, nobody really thought about sunscreens. You'd put suntan lotion on if you're going to the beach or the pool, but for the most part, if you were just going outside to get in the car or going outside when we were little to go play, you didn't think about it. You didn't really think about it. And I spent the majority of my life with that same mindset. It's like I didn't put on sunscreen on my face before I put makeup on. I didn't put sunscreen on my face just to go about my regular day. So, yeah, now I've got texture. I've got sun damage. We'll see if this helps. Like I said, though, it's real simple. Just... It doesn't leave any color on your skin. Yes, I'm still a little wet because I just sprayed it. But it's like I said, I no color left on my skin. It's not irritating. It's not full of alcohol. So we will see as time goes by whether or not this does anything for, for my skin. And I will try and remember to keep you updated on a regular basis. Anyway, if you like what you see, at least please give me a thumbs up. Maybe leave me an emoji. Let me know you did something like watch. Wherever you are, I hope you've ever had a wonderful day. Too bad I can't talk. That was kind of stumbly. Anyway, be good.